CBS 2's Michelle Gili is live in Calabasas where fire victims returned home just a few hours ago. Interesting, Michelle, some of those people probably didn't know their home was still standing until they got back, right? Yeah, many of them were just joyous when they pulled into their driveway. So, so happy to be home. But I've got to tell you, it is far from what it used to be for them, no matter what neighborhood you came home to. Here in Calabasas on Parkmore Road, there is no electricity here, despite the fact that people are hunkering down inside of their houses. And they also feel so badly for their neighbors, like these people here who have no home to come home to. So we just got back home. After days of separation, friends in Calabasas are happy to be together again. We were out. I was over at Pierce College. Well, they were staying with family, but first day that, you know, we can come back home. So we're just trying to get everything situated. To me, these were the ones that I couldn't replace. You know, this is my dad. Late this morning, Kelly Wallace came home five days after evacuating from Calabasas. Around 11 a.m., the roadblocks were removed and people began unpacking their cars. Your yeah. first impressions as you drove in? Horrific. I bawled my eyes out yeah. as I came over the mountain. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. But you know what? We're all safe. Almost everyone I know still has their home. And, you know, we're all alive and our pets are good. So. UCLA research scientist Perkashin Korambeth and his wife knew they would have nothing left on Parkmore Drive in Calabasas. They narrowly escaped Friday. Korambeth tells me this smoke is coming from a box of papers, which is 30 years worth of work. Hopefully when this gets cleared, maybe we might find something. Other than that, right now, nothing we can actually salvage. Home again, home again. Terry Landry was happy to have electricity as he moved back into his house on Hot Springs Place. There were no homes lost near him. I can't believe how well the fire department protected our little enclave here. It's these guys are heroes. It's I'm <laughs> I'm speechless. That UCLA researcher had a very tough call to make. His daughter is going to college at Carnegie Mellon. He says that he picked up the phone and told her that she needs to cancel her Thanksgiving plans, flying home here to Calabasas because, of course, they have no home. And you can probably see my hair here. The wind has picked up fairly dramatically in the last hour here, so let's keep our fingers crossed that uh, those hot spots are not going to reignite tonight. That's the latest live here in Calabasas.